Today we're going to be working on this KitchenAid refrigerator. This is a four-door refrigerator. There's the logo. And this is the display, the way you guys can see if it looks like yours. And here is the model number. Welcome to DIY Repair Now. Read all the warnings. And during this video, you will see one or more of these icons to help you do this repair safe. The complaint that we have with this refrigerator is that it's dumping eye non-stop. Sometimes it will go off or it will go on when you open and close the door. And as you can see, that's what basically was doing. It was stuck on the uh, dumping ice setting. And that is the other motor. The other motor was on most of the time. And that motor is turned on by a relay on the board. Now that relay on the board is what make this agar motor to start spinning and it will keep dumping ice non-stop like I already mentioned before. Now to repair this issue, we're gonna go ahead and replace the main control board because like I said, it's a relay incorporated on the main computer board. So I was here before and to stop this issue because this board took about two or three weeks to get uh, to, uh, it took about two or three weeks uh, to get it uh, we have to disconnect the agar motor and the solenoid so at the end of this video if you have the same issue if you want to make this uh, ice maker to stop making ice and the agar motor to dump the ice go ahead and watch this video until the end and I will told you how to disconnect and connect back again the agar motor and the solenoid. This is the back panel for the main control board. Let's go ahead and put that to the side. It has four one quarter screws. This is the new part. Brand new main computer board. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you the part number in a minute. That way you guys can order it on a link of the description of this video. Uh, by the time I'm editing this video, it's already been about two or three weeks. So this job was a success. There is the part number. And again, there will be a link in the description of this video. If you guys wanna get the part from that link, that will help our channel. Here is the main uh, computer board, the brand new main computer board. And we're just gonna go ahead and compare it before we start removing things to make sure we got the right part. And it looks like we do have the right part. Now we're gonna go ahead and grab a, a flathead screwdriver. And we're gonna go ahead and release that plastic cover from the main computer board. And we're gonna go ahead and start disconnecting all the harness on the board. Always take a picture of everything that you are removing when it has to do with wiring because you will need that picture in case you don't remember what cable goes where. Just disconnect it one by one. Try to be careful. Sometimes those harness, those terminals get stuck really well, which that's good because that will make a good connection. One of those two relays is the one is acting up and getting stuck on the on position. And that's what is making the uh, refrigerator to keep dumping ice constantly. All these harnesses are pressed and released. So you just look for that little tip where you can press and release as you see right there. Once you got all of them released, you will see like a little clip on the bottom that needs to be pressed with a screwdriver. You press down on the middle of the clip and it will release the main computer board from the bottom. As you can see right there in that footage and pretty simple we're gonna go ahead and put this one 
because there is a court charge for this we have to return this part and we have to put it back in this uh, box and bring it back to our part supplier because they will give us a refund of about $60 I believe so always keep that in mind if you part supplier will charge you a core charge you have to return the old part now we're going to go ahead and connect all our cables and terminals back in place and again if you don't remember how they go just go ahead and look at the picture that you took before you start disconnecting everything or if you have the same model number go ahead and watch this video and just follow the video the video along once you got everything connected just go ahead and organize the wires the way it was and go ahead and install the plastic cover on the board in front of the board making sure everything is in place and nothing is against anything else. Make sure the wiring are where they should be. We're gonna grab our four one quarter screws. But before that, we're gonna go ahead and connect the refrigerator and make sure everything is gonna come on. That piece goes right there in that slack right there. So just follow the video. And we're gonna go ahead and secure this cover panel in place with our four one quarter screws. You can use your drill with a one quarter bit or use a regular um, one quarter screwdriver to remove and install this panel. Once you do that, go ahead and put the refrigerator back in place. I'm gonna go ahead and forward this video a little bit that way the video doesn't turn out too long once you get the refrigerator in place make sure everything is on on the display board make sure the ice maker is on <clears throat> we're gonna go ahead and grab our flathead screwdriver to remove that panel because like I told you at the beginning of the video the first time I was here this agar motor and the solenoid was on all the time so it was dumping ice all the time so because the board was not in stock and i had to wait for the board i had to disconnect those parts because those parts was on all the time by the relay the, it's on the board they got stuck on the open position this is how you remove this cover you install a flathead screwdriver into the hole on the side and in this footage i will show you how it clips in and secures in place you put a flat head right there and it will release this cover and it will come right out that's how you remove that cover and we're going to go ahead and release this harness for the ice maker um in agar motor so just press and release you see right there it has a tip just press and it will release from the other part now go ahead and um, push the other cable to the side and go ahead and start uh, releasing the ice maker it has a clip right there as you see right there it has like a clip that is securing the ice maker in place that way it doesn't move so you release the clip and the ice maker will come out
just make sure the other cable is out of the way and the whole housing will come right out now in this footage i'm going to go ahead and show you how to plug the uh, solenoid and how to plug the um the agar motor back but it's the same thing you have to do the same thing if you want to disconnect them when i disconnect them i put some black tape some electrical tape on the terminals because they were going to be disconnected from where they're supposed to be and like i said i had to do this because otherwise the um, agar motor was always dumping ice and we don't want that to happen now i couldn't just turn it off uh, turn up the ice maker but at the same time i don't want it to because i want the people to have ice into the part gets here so the part took about two or three weeks because uh, they had it there was out of stock this is the solenoid same way i'm plugging it back in if it got stuck for you guys just go ahead and disconnect it until you get the part in case you guys run in the same situation that i did now this is the two terminals for the agar motor and just plug those terminals back in place and again this is the same way i'm plugging it back in the same way you will remove them if you have to make a stop until you get the part once you do that just go ahead and plug it back in pretty simple now go ahead and put the ice maker housing back in place and try to clean up if you guys make a mess just clean everything up and push it all the way in until you hear that clip when it click in place that means you got it all the way in there's another click for the harness and this is the last piece which is the cover for the wiring now just put that against it and push it back until you hear that click again now we're gonna go ahead and install the bucket at this point we're pretty much done just resetting the ice maker and it should start making ice pretty soon If this video helped you in any way, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and that help us to keep making more content for you guys. Now I'm gonna go ahead and press, make sure the water is coming out and now it's working the way it's supposed to and it's going off every time i remove my hand so that's it for this video guys thanks for watching